Hi guys, sign of Capricorn. This is Kim with your next 48 hour reading. I hope you're doing really well out there. Thanks for dropping by my channel. Like, share, subscribe if you end up liking this video. And hang on because we get messages from your angels, your ancestors, your spirit guides, gods and goddesses. We get messages as long as they're for your highest good, Capricorn. All right, using the Naked Heart Tarot, Capricorn, first message, first energy, main energy, let's say, main energy for Capricorn, main energy for Capricorn, the tower in reverse, okay, look, this could be really good, this could be good, could be because this could be you, like, avoiding a tower moment, maybe even... So, I mean, like intellect of helping you avoid what could be a tower moment. This is a tower overted. What's keeping you grounded during this time? Your Ten of Cups? Seriously? What is keeping you grounded is that you're putting love and the happiness of everybody around you as part of the equation. And when you do that, you get this completion on all levels it's truly you know in tarot i would say it's it's mastery um but it is definitely putting that spiritual part first and then like i said the love the comfort the happiness of others around you too tell me about the past energy please six of swords in the reverse Six of Swords in the reverse. Give me something else with that. It feels like um, it feels like we didn't leave when our intuition was telling us to leave. I don't know if yeah, okay, because your magician energy here was saying, hey, look, Ten of Swords, this situation, end a situation, so that this happiness, this magician energy. So I don't know. It, it's like. Even though there were maybe things that you would have changed or done different in the past, it's still, it's like a, a direct tie to your Ten of Cups, this magician energy. And that's you being able to, um, like, master manifest or whatever it is that you want to manifest. <clears throat> Alright, what is the energy that's crowning this reading for Capricorn? Whoa, Eight of Wands, good news. And the Seven of Pentacles, um, I feel like it's almost in reverse. I feel like you're um, making some choices and decisions about how to go forward. Um, and, and the Tower Overted might have been like you deciding you weren't going to invest in something. Possibly like something that you would have changed here in the past. I don't know. It, it, it brings in good good news. And that's a gazelle, I believe. So it's something that's going pretty fast. What's the future energy that Capricorn's going to be experiencing next 48 hour? The sun in reverse. Coming out of denial. Possibly about um, a soul family connection or, you know, this journey within your connections and networking. Tell me something else with the sun. Movement of Swords and the Eight of Cups. So the, there's change that's coming in rather quick. Once this energy of coming out of denial about what you need to possibly leave behind. What you need to get determined and focused on. And then what you might be leaving behind going after your Ninth Cup. Now you've got Eight Eight. So abundance and prosperity are pretty big as in outcomes or energy that you're going towards. This can be also getting away on a vacation, kind of like needing the sun. Maybe you yourself need the sun energy, the vitamin D. Tell me about the outcome here for Capricorns. Four of Cups. Mm. 
strength in reverse, justice upright. So you get truth and clarity about a situation, kind of like over it regarding somebody that you lost confidence in. I don't know. It's something like it's not up to you to find their their ten of. They're not part of this ten of cups. If that makes sense. She goes like, I know I've got to sneeze. Whew. So lost confidence in somebody. You have to kind of go within. And it ha all has to do with this balance. Or something with justice energy or partnerships. Six of Cups again. So yes, it definitely has to do with the family, soul family issue. The Nine of Swords. Oh, I got the Page of Cups right here. So Page of Cups. Nine of Swords Reverse and the Spirit of Swords Reverse, which is the King of Swords Reverse. <clears throat> so it could be saying that there is a new hopeful beginning for something that didn't have, well, didn't seem like it's yours to worry about. With the Nine of Swords in the Reverse, it's doing something, and the King of Swords in the Reverse is doing something a little bit different and starting something new. Something that's based on um, the happiness and the emotional part a little bit more. And, of course, it's about your connections, too, with the Six of Cups. But the Four of Cups, though, there's just something that you're really over. And I feel like it's because you can't trust or have confidence in somebody. Change coming, especially with the um, Innocence of Cups or the Page of Cups, have change. have thoughts and that might be on a change or transformation and it's also about manifesting and keeping your thoughts positive as you manifest what you want high honor respect given pathway 35 on the bottom then i have courthouse and with this libra justice energy i feel like something's going to turn out to have really good news coming your way Maybe something you didn't even expect to have good news is going to have good news. 14, message of concern is coming out. Keeping your thoughts balanced. And something about main, the main male. And then again with the pathway. So I'm just going to ask, what's this pathway? What is the pathway? What is it talking about pathway here? Energy for Capricorn. What's the pathway? Oh, a reinventing something completely. A rebirth. Something's having a rebirth or completely reinvented either themselves or a situation. Let go of past heartache, loss, third party situation. Like let go of the hurt. Um, and it's to build. We have the Father of Wands, Aries, uh, Leo. I usually think of it as being Leo. But there's something that's like reborn and ready to put something in the past. The Magician is here. Almost in reverse. Like that's why something had to be completely reinvented. And there's the Sun in reverse twice. So coming out of out of denial there's something that has a really transparent answer to it or it's easy easy to see and and it's involving somebody's transformation uh, and something positive with what they're building is what i've got that's what i've got for the for the most part that's what i've got for your next 48 hours just something small but if you need a private reading reach out to me in the description box below is my website and you can get a private reading i have ring a marriage will take place either romantic or business teapot deep friendship with someone of the same sex desk pay attention to your work goldfish increase increase in spiritual or, or material wealth or spiritual growth increase desk pay attention to your work older man dealings relationship with an older man basket recognition reward for merit teapot deep friendship with someone of the same sex feather someone you know is undependable or insincere and flag do not be tempted to lower oh, lower your standards 
Do not be tempted to lower your standards. And let's pull an angel number message for you too. 28, it says, I am a leader. In an effort to accomplish great things, you recognize the value of working with others. You make a capable, compassionate leader who can bring a team towards achievement. And they have 1212, I am focused. Stay focused on your best possible future and remain optimistic throughout the entire journey. Your angels are right behind you as you turn your dreams into reality. I am focused, 1212. That's what I've got for you, Capricorns. Sending you light and love. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.